Here's another video update on ion lifters. This one is actually bigger than the last one I built. It's about eight inches wide by about 20 inches long. And the wire placement is up here. So when you measure it, it comes out to exactly eight inches and that's about 200,000 volts. Now, the voltage multiplier and transformer I put in mineral oil so it doesn't arc over, keeps it cool. And I combine two 12 volt batteries in series. So now I have 24 volts running. So this one produces more lift. It's not tethered. So let's see. Oh. Well, you can see that's uh, a lot of power right there. I wasn't expecting that. Let's see if I can move the wires up a little more. I mean, the wires is not really tight right now, but just to see it running. So you actually see the spark that's coming out of it. Let's see if it'll lift now. Okay, that's a lot of power right there. You know what? I'm gonna have to readjust the wire. I have to hold on. Okay, correction. I accidentally put my 16 volt and 12 volt battery and I got 28 volts and it blew out something in the multiplier. My 10 stage multiplier, I just connected that, but it's just, it's too much power. I had to actually raise the wire up and I was running that on a nine stage. So now, right now I have the wire at, let's see. Actually, I lowered it back down. I had about nine inches. So that's about 225,000 volts. So now I got to troubleshoot my other multiplier, or maybe it's the transformer. So I got to check that out. But something I did find out while I was just testing this, when I accidentally had the 16 volt battery connected, I didn't, I forgot to reconnect the top wire. And the wire was actually just dangling right here. And when I turned it on, this actually started to lift off. So it's kind of similar to the other YouTuber that had a lifter running with just a Tesla coil. So there is something going on there. But, you know, always back to the drawing board. Okay, bye.